Now, talking about Winston Churchill, I was in Weatherspoons the other day, and I always like to read their magazine. And they had an article here, which is Winston Churchill's memo to the people that were writing reports for him. And it's dated 9th of August, 1940. And he talks about the importance of concision when writing. And I'm just going to quote one or two things here because I've read this before. I read this many, many years ago and it really stuck with me because concision is absolutely where it's at. Concision means the quality of being short and clear and expressing what needs to be said without unnecessary words. And we'd like to think that we do that at A Force for Good in our magazines and our, in our books and also on our program. And he says, brevity. To do our work, we all have to read a mass of papers. Nearly all of them are far too long. This wastes time while energy has to be spent in looking for the essential points. I ask my colleagues and their staff to see to it that the reports are shorter. One, the aim should be reports which are set out, which set out the main points in a series of short, crisp paragraphs. Two, if a report relies on detailed analysis or on statistics, these should be in an appendix. Three, often the occasion is best met by submitting an aid memoir consisting of headings only. And four, let us have an end to such phrases as it is also of importance to bear in mind the following considerations or consideration should be given to the possibility of carrying into effect. Most of these woolly phrases are mere padding which can be left out altogether. Reports drawn up on the lines I propose may seem rough as compared with the flat surface of official jargon, but the saving in time will be great, while the discipline of setting out the real points concisely will prove an aid to clearer thinking. I like that. The discipline of setting out the real points concisely will prove an aid to clearer thinking. And that mentality is what guided us when we wrote our new book, One Big Country, a big book for the Union volume one which you can find by searching for one big country on amazon just put in one big country on amazon and you'll get this book and we, we're selling we're selling daily so it's 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 being appreciated and if you've bought a copy please do consider writing a review as well for us because the Nats come in and they write all these fake reviews, which can sometimes be quite f amusing in, in, their, in their ridiculousness. But we want to get the real reviews in there. So if you've bought a copy, you can go in and um, leave, leave a positive review and tell us what you think about it. One big country. Search Amazon for that.